What's going on, guys? Today, I've seen a, a lot of jokes on the internet about, you know, uh, self-care and memes about self-care, drinking wine in the bathtub, and, you know, memes about self-care, eating donuts, and all kinds of different memes that have the hashtag self-care, and I find a lot of them pretty funny and relatable. But today, we're going to talk about three ways to look at your how you take care of yourself and which one you probably are the most of and which one the most you should be maybe, all right? So there's a few different ways or maybe one day you're driving down the road like I am right now and you decided, hey, I need to take a little bit better care of myself, right? Maybe I should exercise, maybe I should read a book, maybe I should eat something green, maybe I should do something that's not so disruptive or whatever it is you're doing, right? You decided, hey, I'm gonna take better care of myself. The next step there is probably to be a do some research on how best to do that, right? So you get on the uh, you get on the internet, you start looking for workout plans, you start you see CrossFit, you see Orange Theory, you see Gold's Gym, you see Spin Class, you see Peloton, you see all this different stuff, and then you, know, you can go down the rabbit holes researching every single one of these programs. You can get a personal trainer. You could just do at-home workouts. You could do whatever it is you want. You just research, research, research. You're just, you know, diving in, getting in the nitty-gritty of every single workout trend you could pro- possibly get a, become a part of, trying to figure out which one the, might be the exact best for you, right? And, you know, a week or two goes by and you haven't gone to try out any of these places. And you're still looking, still looking. You can't decide which one is the absolute perfect plan for you. So you keep looking, you keep going back and forth and back and forth. The same thing might happen with diet plan, right? You're looking up and you see things like keto, intermittent fasting, macros, points, you know, vegetarian, vegan, raw, you know, Atkins, if that's still a thing, Weight Watchers, whatever it is. And you look at each one and you, you know, you're researching so hard. You're like getting every little bit of knowledge that you can out of every one of these plans. You're going back and forth and sipping on your Chick-fil-A milkshake while you're doing it. And you're going back and forth and a week goes by and you're driving through the McDonald's drive through again, trying to figure out which one of these diet plans is going to be the best for you. And you're just super confused. And then which one of the exercise plans is best, absolutely best for you. And you still, you know, you're two seasons up on House of Cards or uh, you know, Money Heist or whatever it is you're 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 watching on Netflix, but you haven't got off your butt and done a single workout of any of them yet, right? So you've done research, 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 right? That's like, you know, one personality type. The second personality type is maybe one that's going to pick something, right? So you hit the drive through at Chick-fil-A, get your fried chicken sandwich and your milkshake, and, uh, you know, head to the grocery store right? You're going to try everything. You're going to buy some vegetables. You're going to buy some organic meat. You're going to, you know, stay on the perimeter of the grocery store. You're going to get some chocolate because you have to treat yourself. You know, you're going to get all, all this food. You're going to bring it home, but not before you get a fried chicken sub, fried chicken pub sub, because, you know, public subs are the best. And of course they're frying that chicken right when you're walking through the store, you know, at dinner time. So you get that and you're like, oh, I'm going to get all this food and, you know, I'll pick a plan and end up starting tomorrow, right? And you've decided, hey, guess what? I'm finally going to try that CrossFit thing that I keep hearing about. So now you dump in, you figure out what the, you know, you've done all the research and you you figured out what kind of shoes people wear to do that and what kind of gear you need. So, you know, you have, uh, you know, you go on Rogue's website and unfortunately everything's sold out. So maybe you have to go somewhere else and you buy yourself some CrossFit shoes, some CrossFit grips, some CrossFit tape you know, some, a CrossFit weightlifting belt or, you know, whatever it is you're going to do. And you get all that stuff delivered to your house and you have, so now you're, you're the type of person that goes out and you, you set up a plan to go ahead and do it, right? You now have all the gear, all the equipment, you have all the food. Maybe you uh, know you need to like calm down or meditate or read. So you buy some books and you get them at your house and you download the call map on your phone so you can help this relax, right? But you don't ever end up using the stuff because you don't know what you're doing and you don't, you know, you're not good at executing. You just like to get the stuff, get the plan, and then, you know, a couple weeks later you throw away all the vegetables that don't work out and, you know, you've worn your CrossFit shoes around town because they look pretty cool. You got yourself some, maybe some Metcon 6s or something and you've got the gear, but you don't do it. Maybe that's you. 
maybe you're the type of person that the first time someone told you about CrossFit, you're like, yeah, I'll go with you. I'll ju- let me let me go with you right now. I'll jump in a class with you. Or maybe Orange Theory. Or maybe, you know, someone invites you to go to the gym one day and you're like, hey, I'll do it. I had a, you know, one of the guys that was at the gym for a really long time, we met at Starbucks. We were having a staff meeting at Starbucks. Uh, his friend went to our gym and they were meeting there to get a cup of coffee. And uh, she's like, hey, you should do You should try it with me. He's like, okay. I'll do it tomorrow. What time tomorrow? Five o'clock? I'll be there. That guy was at the gym literally seven years. I met at a coffee shop. He said, yep, I'll be there tomorrow. He was there seven years, right? So just jump right in and, uh, you know, didn't do any research, didn't buy any gear, showed up in whatever shoes he had, whatever gear he had, didn't know two things about CrossFit, but his friend went and invited him and he came, right? Maybe you jump right in. Maybe you heard someone do a vegetarian or vegan challenge and you're like, you know what, I'll I'll cut out meat and dairy and whatnot. I like a challenge. We'll see what it is. I just had a friend that owns a gym in Connecticut. He's uh, he does nutrition stuff too. He, he did a 30 day vegan challenge because people ask him about it a lot and he wanted to be able to speak more than just on, you know, other people's experiences. Um, I'm not going to go into what, what his thoughts were on it after the 30 days, but he definitely did it for 30 days. No vegan junk food either, no like stuff out of a box or anything like raw foods, real foods only. It was very, very challenging for him, right? And he just kind of jumped in and, you know, he did that. You know, maybe you have someone that challenged you to try counting your macros. So you get on right away and do it like, hey, I'm down for I'm down for it. Let's do it. You know, um, so those are three different ways people go about acting or taking care of himself. One, the research only person, you know, two, someone that builds a system, build, gets the stuff, gets ready, but never actually does it and doesn't have that much research, maybe some research. And then the last person is the one that doesn't really research anything, just kind of fly by the seat of their pants, whatever their friends are doing, they do, or if they hear about something cool, they jump in. I would say the best strategy for you to take care of yourself, self-care, and this is just how you analyze your life too. It doesn't only have to do with the gym and how you eat. I would start at the top and continually rotate. Start at the top and continually rotate, right? So. You hear about something new, get on the internet, research it, reach out to any of your friends that know that have done it or are doing it, right? Um, Get on there and find, get educated about it so you can have educated questions when you go and, you know, meet someone about it, you know, like take CrossFit, for example, you know, you probably have a friend that's done it, you are worked out in general, you ask some questions, you figure out, hey, this sounds like something I might like to do do some more research, figure it out. Then the next step will be to set up an appointment to go in and, you know, check out the gym, maybe get some workout shoes if you haven't worked out in a while, maybe get some new workout clothes because, you know, you haven't worked out in a while. Figure out what you're going to need when you get there. You know, block off that time on your calendar. Don't let anything come in the way of it. Set yourself up for success. And then the next thing would be to do would be go join and start, right? Whether it's a diet, whether it's a gym, just start doing it. Jump on in and execute. Now, where a lot of people get stuck is they get stuck in one of those three places, right? They get stuck in the research phase, never make it out of it. They get stuck in the preparation phase, they never make it out of it. They get stuck in the execution phase, and they never make it out of it, right? So what you need to do is do one for a little while, then move on. Do the next for a little while, then move on. Always be zooming out and zooming in. Working on yourself, you know, that you know if you have a business, the term is work on the business and work in the business. You know, those those are kind of terms that are pretty common. You have to work on yourself, but you also have to look up and get your head out of, you know, looking down, working on yourself so you can see where you want to go because you may have shifted your path one way or the other, right? So That's my challenge to you today. Figure out where you are in your life right now. Where are you? Are you just doing nothing but researching? Are you stuck in, you know, maybe I'll get to it one day. I got to get prepared a little bit more. Or are you just, you've been doing the same thing so long that you don't know that maybe you need to look up and maybe you're trying to go over this way, but you're actually headed that way, right? So uh, figure out where you are. Make sure you're on the right path. If you're not and you need some help, reach out. I'll be more than happy to help you. And uh, we can set down a time and and chat about it, all right? CrossFitDieHard.com backslash intro or make a comment on here. I will reply to you. You guys have a great Monday. See you soon.